Wear the Gown, brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. Many of the best surgeons from around the world come to Little Rock to train. The Arkansas Neurosciences Institute at CHI St. Vincent has developed groundbreaking teaching methods. THV 11's David Libman explains it will soon have the space it needs to teach the best doctors of the future. A month ago we had a course where uh, we have uh, 40 participants and it was so crowded. Dr. Imad Aboud found a way to use cadavers to simulate almost any kind of brain or spine surgery. His method is an incredible advancement for medicine and allows surgeons to gain experience that, in the past, only came during operations on patients. So this model and practicing on this model will enhance patient safety by preparing uh, good and more skilled surgeons and neurosurgeons. Every case, every disease for us is a book, it's a lesson, so we can learn for the next time. Next year, the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute will have a bigger lab to teach all those lessons. It'll move to CHI St. Vincent's Sherwood campus, where it will have twice as much space as today. It's very easy to achieve because money is the easiest part of it. I'm hoping to achieve it. The difficult part is the human resources, which I have. Dr. Ali Krisht, the Institute's director, said that there hasn't been as much progress on brain cancers as there has been on other types of cancer. He believes the expanded clinic will allow doctors in Arkansas to push research forward. This is a vision that we had for the future of uh, neurosurgery, not only for Arkansas, but for the world of neurosurgery. In Little Rock, David Lipman, THV 11 News. Well, CHI St. Vincent will uh, break ground in the new lab in the spring, the goal of moving in by next fall.